<laughs> Hello, lads. How you guys doing? It's another day. We are back in London. I've just been on a very, very long trip. And finally, that just came out of nowhere. I'm back here and I'm finally going to be able to use my new car, the Alpine. So, what are you looking at? What are you? Ah, yes. Um, we'll get to that in a bit. Today, we're going to be using the Alpine for the first time. I really haven't had the chance to, to use it. We're going to use it for sort of daily activities. Um, and I'm also going to explain why I bought that car. But first things first, um, meet Lord Hamish. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Got a chicken in my garden. Now this, I actually... Well, I'll tell you the story. Let's, let, I'll get Lord Hamish, and then I'll tell you the story. <laughs> <laughs> Not heard that before. Hamish, come down, buddy. Hamish. So we're trying to get... I'm not going to talk too loud because I don't want to disturb Lord Hamish. We're trying to get him just a little bit more comfortable with us because obviously this is a new environment that he's not used to. Well, actually it's a she, but we named her Lord Hamish um, just because we thought Hamish was a brilliant name for a chicken. Trying to give her some food and some water and then we're going to have to go get her some stuff to pimp out her, her little house over there. Um, but yeah, this was not expected. This was very random. If anyone knows more about how you're meant to raise a chicken. Do let me know if we need to get another one or what we need to do exactly because we are obviously not experts but she seems to be sort of calming down now. So the story behind this fella, I can speak up a bit now because he seems a bit more chilled out. Is that Cole decided you wanted to get me a chicken um, for some unknown reason and he thought that would be a good birthday surprise. But then, you know, obviously we didn't want to just get any old chicken that was already living a really nice comfortable life to bring it here. So Cole actually found a place where there were just too many chickens living in this tiny little spot um, and they were just, you know, not being fed properly, they weren't getting enough water, they were all, they could barely had space to move and they were just getting rid of them. So it was either someone took them or I don't know what was going to happen to these chicken. So Cole found this place, figured, you know, it was a good thing to do to take one off their hands. It's got a much nicer life here than it did over there so we figured that we would uh, keep this chicken see how it goes i'm going to read up a bit more about what they need and um, whether lord hamish is going to need a buddy or not and i guess we will um we'll take it from there but this is lord hamish bye hamish bye hamish go explore here it is the alpine this hasn't been started in a few weeks so hopefully it should be all good. I mean, I'm not entirely sure, but let's give it a go and see what happens. But uh, yeah, first time I've left this car for a little while from the brake. Sounds pretty good. Okay, so we're going to a pet shop, get some supplies for Lord Hamish. I also really need to fill it up. It is completely empty. It's going to be the first daily driving boot test for this car, seeing as we don't know whether we're going to be able to fit the hay in the, in the car because the boot is so tiny. There's two. There's one in the front, one in the back. We'll show you when we start. But I've just learned this as well. When you press the neutral button, it goes into neutral, but then you press and hold, it goes red, and that's park. So we're going to go to the pet shop, and then I need to run a few errands. So we'll take the Kia for that, but we just thought we'd bring you along today. Standard London vlog. I'm here for two days. So I figured I might just do one vlog and then tomorrow I'm actually doing something very exciting involving the Alpine. First things first, trying to get some stuff for Lord Hamish. Is this like a drive through pet shop? <laughs> and anyways, we've got a pet and at home, so this is probably the hook up. <gasps> Shall we get Lord Hamish a little bed? Yes. Hey. Is that hay? Large bag of hay. Perfect. Yeah. Get a few of these. Yeah. All right. What kind of hay? <laughs> Um, this is for, uh, how do you say lapin? Lapin, rabbits. Rabbits, there you go. Um, okay. This is more, I think, what we're talking about now. That's bale. What's that? That's like straw. That's probably better, you're right, actually. That's probably better. Bale is straw, I think, yeah. Great success. Uh, we've got what we need now. 
I got a little bit of food as well for Lord Hamish and um, some chicken feed so I think we're pretty much good to go we need to go back clean out his little crib and then pimp it out <laughs> this is what we're doing and then we're gonna do an episode of MTV Cribs in Lord <laughs> Hamish's house <laughs> That, fits, that fits so nicely. Okay, then pass the bed. Oh, yeah. I reckon I can. The front boot. There we go. Okay, well, we've still got one left. Right. There you go. Thank, ah. you. Thank you so much. There we go. Yeah, don't mind me. I'm fine. I thought this could also potentially be, as we're running errands, a good time to talk to you guys about why I bought this car. Because there's a few factors more than just the fact that I loved it. That was, of course, the number one factor. But if I loved the car so much, then why didn't I just buy the sort of run-of-the-mill production version um, which isn't limited and you can get your hands on quite easily. There's a small waiting list, but you can get your hands on it easily. I wanted the premiere edition. And that's because I bought this car to enjoy it, but I've also bought it somewhat um, as an investment. So a car, you know, this is expensive. This is a big expense for me. And I didn't want to lose much money on it. Because at the end of the day, what a car costs you is however much it depreciates. Specifically when you buy a car outright. So that's what I've done with this. If in the future I decide to go up in the more supercars, I would need to finance. But this I could just about stretch myself to buy outright. So that's exactly what I've done. And obviously there's a lot of risk with that because you know if you buy a car, as I did uh, with this car for £52,300, um, you know there's a risk that if the car is worth 30000 in a year, you've lost twenty grand. Um, so it, it was a risk I took and I wanted a car which would hold its value well. Now these being a limited edition, only 1,955, um, I figured they would hold their value quite well and that's exactly what's happened. Right now on the market they're selling for about 58 to, to 57 thousand pounds, depending on mileage. And those are for cars with uh, around and about a thousand miles. Um, so I'm not going to drive this car massively, I don't have any um, road trips planned with it I'm gonna drive it mainly around like nice roads around London and around London when I can and potentially uh, track day here and there and things like that but no big mileage road trips know some of you are maybe not gonna be particularly happy with this information because you're gonna be like oh you bought a car not to use it I am using it as you can tell this is just a day-to-day -day activity and I'm still using the car still got the Kia for most day-to-day -day stuff but when I feel like it I'm gonna take this car I'm not gonna limit myself too too much um, but I'd rather just be completely honest with you guys and show you from a buyer's perspective another thought that went into buying this specific version of this car and also in this color the Alpine blue ones sell the best with the carbon interior so I also bought this car in this spec thinking of when I will resell it um, so do what you will with that information some of you will you know understand that and some of you will think that I'm just a car flipper I'm not a car flipper I'm just trying not to lose too much money when buying these expensive assets so yeah it's a little bit of information on why I bought this specific Alpine A110 Premier Edition BP Ultimate here we go how much is a full tank of fuel because it was effectively on empty I'm gonna say 62 pounds Ooh, I reckon 55 Saying 55? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if it clicks on 55. Right, job done. Now that we've got petrol and the engine's kind of warm, we can go into sport mode and use the paddles. And it sounds so much better with the crackles and stuff. But this car has just surprised me today by how usable it is so comfortable it's got some fancy suspension uh, which i've mentioned already which is like so good for daily driving as well it's really not that low in the front but so nice and this gearbox is really nice and responsive as well oh, that anyways we now need to go pick up i'm still running the old plates on this car so while i'm in london i now need to go pick up some stuff uh, for the license plates and then go back and pimp out lord hamish's house welcome back what are you doing cleaning Lord Hamish's shed. 
for him so that we can put the... Uh, <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> this is absolutely horrific. You're right in there? Hey, there we are, Does it smell in there, Seb? Yeah, it's not. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't have got a chicken. Well, you got it for me. <laughs> Open up. Now that we've dried the bottom of the hut, it's time to put the hay in. I'm going to start from the back. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. So we're thinking that the bale's a good idea. One, just more comfortable for Hamish. And two, so that when he poos everywhere, we just need to clean up the bale and not actually the floor of the uh, of the shed. So hopefully this should save us work and make Hamish more comfortable. Lord Hamish would approve. <laughs> now, the final touch here is the bed for Lord Hamish. Bed towel pick. Bed towel. That is luxury. Five star chicken nest. Right, let's get some water in the bowl, put it next to the nest. Okay. Around about here. Yeah. Should I go get that? Shall we give him today? We're gonna do a mix of Rice Krispies and rice. Oh, luxury. Luxury. It's a big day. Yeah. Right, I'll go get that. This is a perfect plate though as well. It is, it's very wide. I reckon that is a pretty good meal for a chicken. Right? I reckon it goes next to the water. Right here. He'll find that, right? Good lad. Yes. yes. Good lad. Come on, Hamish. Oh, yeah. In. There we go. There he is. <laughs> 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 